know anything, but uh, he wants to know if there's a plan to uh, equalize legendary gear stats in the future. Like to make them completely equal? I don't know. I don't know. He says equalize legendary gear stats. Let me see if he can get him to elaborate. Do you want to uh, elaborate on that? I can proto? tell you that that just like characters, gear is constantly being balanced. Also, uh, we're we're trying to make sure that we get that that not too warm, not too cold feeling on gear, just like characters. So there's there's a lot of work that goes into that too, and, and taking the numbers and the data that that we have and that community feedback is really helpful whenever we're doing Cool, cool. Yeah, I've noticed there's like some legendaries right now that, you know, just seem amazing and then you have the others that are, you know, like you're, like you're saying, almost kind of like lukewarm, not quite well, where, where you'd expect. So, you know, it's, I can see that you guys have definitely been working on them with like the past couple hot fixes and everything. Yeah, yeah, and, and a lot of that also comes with you know the type of player that you're uh, that you're choosing and the type of player that that you yourself are. Mm -hmm. What your play style is may not match the type of gear that you're using, and, and you want to make sure that, that you find that that good mix. Uh, Very with that true. Repetition and, and practice. Seeds. Uh, Seeds has a question here about uh, solo play. Um, I guess he had trouble kind of going through the game solo. And, you know, he felt it was more tuned towards uh, multiplayer. He was wondering if, if there's any kind of a plan to uh, adjust it so that, like, the solo play experience is more interactive. So, actually, it is. Um, it, the way that, that it's built, it, it kind of has that, that Borderlands style where you have the, the more players you have, the harder the difficulty is on top of whatever difficulty you chose. And we've kind of made it to where uh, the single player experience is uh, statistically uh, not as hard as it is whenever you're playing with a group. Sure, sure. I don't think I've actually also, played much of it solo myself. Yeah. And like I said, it also depends, you know, who who you're running with and and what what your play style is. Yeah, I took a melee character once. I think one of the few times I played solo, I took a melee character through uh, the algorithm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I remember it taking a while because of the, the Isaac fight at the end, getting knocked all yeah. around and everything. Yes, that that definitely happens. That's uh, And that's one of the things that we want to do is train up the, the community to, to say, hey, I'm a new player. These are the these are the type of characters that, that we would recommend for you. Or hey, I'm hardcore first person shooter. These are the type of guys we think that you guys can can get a good challenge with. Okay, so Proto elaborated on this. Uh, what he meant was like uh, the rolls on a lot of the legendaries. You you can get like you know three percent damage reduction, but someone else uh, with the same legendary. Yeah, is there a plan plan to equalize that? I think that's what he was asking. That is that is one of the things that that is going into what they're what they're doing with the balance. Cool, cool. We've so we've definitely heard heard that. I actually uh, got two Voxus cores in the same day. And it was funny because it was like a couple of days <laughs> after it got disabled. <laughs> and uh, one of them was better than the other. So in the end, I wasn't too too upset about it. But <laughs> the timing for me was just, it was funny too because uh, that day I was complaining. Like, I was like, man, I haven't had good luck with my legendaries lately. And then I got two Voxus cores and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? 